Okay, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Let's start writing some code in Kitura. Open the Xcode project and make sure the project still builds. After you test it, click on the router directory in Xcode and add a new Swift file. Name it entryroutes.swift and make sure that the right target is selected. You'll need to scroll down to make sure that emoji journal server is selected so that this file compiles against the main server target that you are running. At the top of your file, import three frameworks that you'll need to specify your routes for your server. Right below this, you're going to make a temporary data store. This is good for testing locally when you're trying to keep track of data, but if you need to restart your server for any reason, you'll lose all of the data stored here. By the end of this part, you'll be using an actual database solution to persist data, and not this simple map. Let's use this opportunity to take a quick peek at our journalentry.swift file. The struct is composed of three properties and a constructor that does some validation logic for us, in case someone tries to create a journal entry without an emoji. Notice that the ID string is marked as optional. This means that whenever someone submits a new journal entry, we can decide what the ID will be, unless the client has specified one for some reason. Go back to entryroutes.swift. Add a new function below your data store to instantiate a route and specify a handler for it in a separate function. You'll define get all entries in just a moment, but this should look familiar if you watched the last video. You are using the application that will call this function soon, and specifying the main router on it to match this route. Whenever someone goes to your application, and the URL of the get request looks like slash entries, this means that the function get all entries should get called. Go ahead and write that function now. I know what you're thinking. Where's the request? Where are my parameters? What just happened? Isn't that neat? By specifying a codable object in the signature journal entry and using a route pattern to match against, Kitura is able to figure out that you want to make a get request to the slash entries route. You can work in a native Swift context now. Even better, you don't have to go through the work of populating a response object with JSON and sending it off. Thanks again to Codable, as long as you are sure that your collection of journal entry objects is well-formed in Swift, Kitura will take care of the JSON transportation for you in the response. Using what you know, go ahead and register for a post request on the same route like so. And then go ahead and write your handler function. You want to take the new entry that comes in via the request, add it to your data store, and then respond with the new object that was created, so you can confirm to the client that everything happened the way it was supposed to. When you set up a database later, it will take care of the ID assignment for you. This is just a hack to make it work until you get there. This is also a good time to point out that, if something were to go wrong, you could specify a request error to go in your completion handler. 
Now that you've registered for these routes, build your application. Everything should be fine up to this point, but we have one last thing to do before we can test this. Put a breakpoint somewhere in your post route handler for now. Open up application.swift and find your post init method. You need to add a call to add the routes you just registered for here. Now you can build and run your app. Check the home page to make sure that your app is live. After that, open up Postman. Make a GET request to localhost port 8080 slash entries. If you get an empty array response, you're clear. Go ahead and also fill out a POST request to the same route, but with some random values. If you want to type an emoji on Mac OS, the command to pull up the emoji picker is control command space. If the date looks odd, don't fret. This is an example of a date in reference to an epoch. I would take the time to discuss the difference between the Unix and Mac OS epochs, but we would never be able to agree on the right time. Send this request, and you might notice that your breakpoint got triggered in Xcode. Look at you! You can debug your Kitura app this way with LLDB, just like it's an iOS application. Send the response on its way, and in Postman, you should be able to see the response. You did it! Try your GET request again, and you should be able to see the collection of what you've saved so far. At the end of each video in this module, you want to deploy your application to test it in the cloud. Remember, the command is bx app push. In the next video, you've got a challenge. You're going to take your codable routing skills one step further with the last route you need to add. See you there.